districts, so does the culture. As in 2007, the fertility rate in France was 1.8, England 1.6, Greece 1.3, Germany 1.3, Italy 1.2, Spain 1.1. Across the entire European Union of 31 countries, the fertility is a mere 1.38. Historical research tells us <coughs> these numbers are impossible to reverse. In a matter of years, Europe as we know it will cease to exist. Yet the population of Europe is not declining. Why? Immigration is long in a nation. <laughs> Of all population growth in Europe since 1990, 90% has been Islamic immigration. France, 1.8 children per family. Muslims, 8.1. In southern France, traditionally one of the most populated church regions in the world, there are now more mosques than churches. 30% of children ages 20 and younger are Islamic. In the larger cities, such as Nice, Marseille, and Paris, that number has grown to 45%. By 2027, one in five Frenchmen will be Muslim. In just 39 years, France will be an Islamic. <laughs> in the last 30 years, the Muslim population of Great Britain rose from 82,000 to 2.5 million a 30-fold increase. There are over 1,000 mosques, many of them former churches. In the Netherlands, 50% of all newborns are Muslim, and in only 15 years, half of the population of the Netherlands will be Muslim. In Russia, there are over 23 million Muslims. That's one out of five Russians. 40% of the entire Russian army will be Islamic in just a few short years. Currently in Belgium, 25% of the population and 50% of all newborns are Muslim. The government of Belgium has stated one-third of all European children will be born to Muslim families by 2025, just 17 years away. The German government, the first to talk about this publicly, recently released a statement saying, the fall in the German population can no longer be stopped. Its downward spiral is no longer reversible. It will be a Muslim state by the year 2050. Muammar al qaddafi of Libya said, There are signs that Allah will grant victory to Islam in Europe without swords, without guns, without conquest. We don't need terrorists. We don't need homicide bombers. The 50 plus million Muslims in Europe will turn it into a Muslim continent within a few decades. There are currently 52 million Muslims in Europe. The German government said that number is expected to double in the next 20 years to 104 million. Closer to home, the numbers tell a similar story. Right now, Canada's fertility rate is 1.6 nearly a full point below what is required to sustain a culture. And Islam is now the fastest growing religion. Between 2001 and 2006, Canada's population increased by 1.6 million, 1.2 of those immigration. In the United States, the current fertility rate of American citizens is 1.6. With the influx of the Latino nations, the rate increases to 2.11, the bare minimum required to sustain a culture. In 1970, there were 100,000 Muslims in America. Today, there are over 9 million. The world is changing. It's time to wake up. Three years ago, a meeting of 24 Islamic organizations was held in Chicago. The transcripts of that meeting showed in detail their plans to evangelize. Right. You, got, you guys see the picture? The last note about the Latinos kind of bringing up the minimum requirement 
uh, fertility rate for, you know, the, the, they're saying the culture will cease to exist. So I'm thinking, they're thinking Christianity because Latinos, we, we know we're not, we're not uh, white American, right? I, it's been made very clear to us that we don't, we don't fit. So it leads me to believe to that. However, to their dismay, the people that uh, created this, this uh, first video are probably now like... Lucy Silva is a Muslim, but she wasn't born one. Oh, that one. Lucy switched faith, converting to Islam 18 years ago. Some people just jump into it and put on the headscarf. I took my time in doing a lot of research before uh, taking that step. Once Mexican and Catholic, now Mexican and Muslim, which some people just can't get their heads around. So they automatically assume that I'm Arab or from over there. So when they hear me speaking Spanish, uh, let's say I'm at a grocery store or I'm speaking to my mom um, or my my son, um, so they're like quite surprised that I'm speaking Spanish. They think that, oh, where did you learn to speak perfect Spanish? I said, well, I'm Mexican. It's hard to say exactly how many Latina, Latino Muslims there are in the United States, quite simply, because there have been no official studies, but experts estimate that number to be anything from 150,000 to 200,000. A report from Florida International University says 90% of them are converts, mostly female. In fact, Latino and Latina Muslims are the fastest growing ethnic group within the Islamic faith. A lot of their values tend to be conservative values. They have a high respect for Jesus, who you know we say is, is a prophet in Islam. They have a high respect for the mother of Jesus, for Mary. So there's that kind of connection with the religion and the idea of God and also love for God. Wanda couldn't agree more. So you grew up in a traditional Hispanic family home then it's very similar to Islam. She's from Puerto Rico and converted as a teenager weeks before 9-11. I was exposed to like drugs and alcohol when I was like 11. And uh, for me, Islam was more of like a stability and structure for me. But coming from a strict Catholic background, it wasn't easy. It took my mom like about five years to get used to me converting to Islam. It was really hard for her. She threw me out of the house. And um, I was living, I, I moved out, I was like 16 and I moved out. Afterwards, my mom called me on the phone. She asked me to come back and stay with her. And she missed me and uh, she was going to try her best to understand why we came to Islam. She was going to do her best to change, and now she's now we have an amazing relationship. But it took, I don't know, some now 15 years. So it took a long time. For women like Wanda and Lucy, it is tough, particularly when politics mixes with religion, heritage, and gender. We have to really educate other people like who we are, not only as women. Uh, there's always women's struggles everywhere in every society. Uh, also, as part of being a Latino, we also try to communicate that with uh, non-Latino uh, people. And as a Muslim, we also try to educate others about the Muslim faith. They refuse to give up hope or their identities. Phil Lavelle, CGTN, Los Angeles. All right, so, you know, the people that made that, that other video are probably like, <laughs> like even, even more worried, like, what are we going to do now, like, you know. Our only hope is, is turning Islam. So, uh, just last slide, and we probably don't have time because there's like a million questions. But I, we have brothers and sisters here in the MSA that would love to have conversations. If you have any whatsoever, I, I live nearby. I can come in and do another conversation, whether it's about the Asa calendar or about Islam. Uh, in Espanol, si gustan. I mean, we, we, can, we can mix it up. But are there questions that we can do? like to discuss anybody? Yes? Sorry, so I'm Muslim. Um, I'm Muslim. Um, I'm Muslim. <laughs> yes, and you can see it happening right now. Yeah. Like when when Moctezuma <coughs> was, was was when they were like fourteen, like ninety, fourteen eighty, they were looking at the signs and they were like, "Hey, the weather is changing." Sound familiar? Like there's like stuff happening that wasn't happening before. Uh, like just strange signs. 
we have global warming, like is that some strange, right? I mean, we caused it. They didn't cause that back then. It was like the universe telling them, get ready. They didn't, they didn't understand universalism. So now we are here, and we actually don't know what that's going to look like. But it doesn't look good for the position that we're standing in right now, especially with the people in power, right? And we, we have to understand that just because Quetzalcoatl looks like he's from the land of the sun, and he has a beard and white robe that we don't fall for the same trick of 1491 you know, or 1492, 1519 because we see some people wearing white robes and beards doing some very nasty stuff that has nothing to do with Islam. So when we start scrutinizing what the message is coming, we got to take it back to, is it in Lakesh? Is it the beautiful brother? Like you are going to be equitable, you know, no matter what gender orientation, no matter what you believe in, like if you believe that there's one creator, like okay, that's where we start the conversation. That's the lowest common denominator. Right? So we have to look at that and if people are persecuting others, that's an oppressor. No matter who they are, that's an oppressor. And a Muslim cannot be an oppressor. Even if somebody has their foot on the on your neck, 